Welcome back to humankind. We just, with the Harapan civilization, reached the classical era. Uh, so we have transcended instead of picking something new because we are loyal. And our capital city, Harappa, has already attached two territories. Uh, and as you can see, it's growing more and more expensive to attach more. We need to be a little bit careful uh, what we attach. But I think we're going to start the assimilation process here. In terms of research, we need to go toward philosophy so we can get another city cap. But these guys, these guys are going to be ours. Oop, that was instantaneous. Whoops. Okay, I thought it would take some time. I have done it before, but I, clearly I have forgotten. Uh, Money-wise, we're fine. It's all good. Let's select what the focus of this thing here should be. And I think we just go for city growth, because clearly this is a very green area as well. So that's a good thing to go for. Let's definitely get them a pottery workshop. And we should also see if we have this over here already. Uh, no, we don't. So this should be something early on to get all the nice influence. That's very important. So these guys... We have a decent army now. Overtaken from them. Uh, what do we do with them? Uh -huh. Let's send them to explore. Really nothing much else we can do with them. That's a very fortunate start we had. We are on our own little continent. There's no one here to mess with us. So we can take all the time in the world. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade our food productions as best we can. And then we're going to build a harbor as well. Which is a little bit weird because I think you can only have like one harbor per territory. Yeah, it says that placement prerequisites can be built once per territory. I don't really get it, but holy hell, what the ha- what? How does it get plus 44 over there? What? That is insane. Yeah, I want that, thank you. My goodness. Okay, that's crazy. Yes, we have researched sailing, so maybe our troops are gonna now embark. I don't know. Mm, check. Yeah, we don't have the te technology for embarkment yet. Let's see. The descendants of kings? Question mark. A filthy wretched man has come to our empire, claiming to be a descendant of the ancient rulers of Huari Kinganga. Without fear in front of your whole court, he boldly tells you that his people are owed great restitution for the great offenses you have carried out against his ancestors. However, he's willing to forgo this redress in condition we fulfill a divine prophecy and let him lead Huari Kinganga. He promises that fulfilling the prophecy will see the riches come to the city. Deny him, and he promises to bring war and famine to our empire. What is my choice? So we give redress. Uh, we could accede. Or we could belittle him. I think we'll give redress, it's fine. I don't mind. It's it's all fine. Okay, what gives us embarkment? This, I think. No. Uh, let's get the city cap thing here. Philosophy. Something happened. Sacred ground has been locked by another empire. Okay, fine. Be that as it may. Should be upgrading here. Food per horse. Food on farmers' quarters. Do you even have any quarters? I don't think you do. Not really worthwhile upgrading anything here yet. Let's see. Your stability is going down a little bit, so maybe giving you some public fountains might help. Food-wise, you're fine. Yeah, let's get them public fountains. Uh, 
I want these guys in this direction. As you can see with all those little city uh, road lines here, they move way further than they would without. So inventing the wheel is kind of useful. Oh, we're on our own to find a good spot. See, it doesn't really have to be an all too good spot, honestly. Be any spot, any spot at all. Seven eleven. Yeah, let's go for seven eleven. It's all right. It's not ideal. But it could be way worse. Let's just build these wherever we're currently at. Every time we get a good chance to do it, we should. Why do you have to walk all the way around there? That's crazy. Nine and eleven. One and four. That would be really good. I don't understand why he has to walk all the way around there. He's like next to it. What the hell is this? We go. Follow me. I don't... <laughs> Well, we don't need to understand it. We just need to order it. So you guys are out here. So you could claim this territory, maybe. Does it give us a good indicator where to put it here? Eight, eight. Eight, eight. That sounds fair. I'll just build a whole bunch anywhere we haven't yet. I think. Ah, here it gives us a clear indicator. We shall take it up on this. Where else do we have troops lingering? Unclaimed territories waiting. The only game in town. Word has come to you that the annual festival in Harappa has added foot race to the revelries. Short race is amongst popular is the most popular among the worshippers, and has given you an idea. During this time of the peace, there's a danger of the empire's armies will lose their edge. Yes. Okay. So we get plus 7 combat strength for 10. That's pretty useless. Let's go for the mind because we're not currently in need of any warfare type considerations. Just doesn't matter. Okay, we could go ahead and attach something to this. Once the outposts around it are built, anyway. Because the less a city already has attached, the cheaper it is to attach something to it. Like this costs 45 to attach here, it would cost 345 to attach there. Plus I want to attach over here. For this one. So we'll just go ahead. They are gonna build our outposts as they were told to. Did we say? Yeah, these guys. Where's the outpost, boys? Hey. I told you to build this. Better do, as you're told. Is this claimed? Yeah, this is claimed.
Debate and discussion are not the pastimes of the idle, but the actions of thinkers and movers who will touch every aspect of civilization. Okay, so the uh, being over cap costs us a little bit on influence. Ah, uh, we don't really need more than three cities on this island, quite honestly. This is perfectly fine. We just need to expand these a little bit in various directions. Need to be careful with the stability. And I think we might want to start on this next, once the harbor is done and we get the 44 food for some reason. Maybe it just takes all of these? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Yeah, these guys built so they can walk. What do we have here? Nothing. Right. We do have some food outposts. And some farmers. So... We could upgrade these. Or we could start on Stonehenge. Meh. Nah. Can we get a crazy amount of food here as well? Yes, we can. 32. Crazy stuff. Uh, let's see. What do we do? What do we do with you guys? Doesn't really matter, does it? Not much anyway. Well, we built the special district here. Definitely also need some money at some point. Hmm. I think we'll give it some walls. Just in case someone ever comes to visit and isn't all that friendly. Forced labor, reinforcements. Hydrology, that sounds pretty damn good for us. Iron, theater, library, holy day. Uh, let's go with what is quick. Because quite honestly, it doesn't matter. This is the most sandboxy start you could have. You could ever imagine. It's never going to be more sandboxy than this. We're completely alone. Which makes things also a little bit more difficult, uh, interestingly enough, because with lacking interactions, uh, we can't go for stuff like military points. Basically, all we have is, is population growth. That's where we That's where we shine. That's where we can go. So we need to expand our cities. Attach new cities to our cities. Let's see. Can we attach something here? Only this. Could attach this. Let us. Stability took a hit and it's going down. But now we can go ahead and get more horse. And we can also get more of these things here. Followers of the Empire's religion continue to grow, but within the temples and holy places tensions brew. Sadly, the blossoming interpretations of religious tenets is leading to schisms. Aye, aye. As the worshippers place more or less important different rules, it speaks to a wider question of how other entire religions should be seen. Is religious harmony something that we aspire to or a question that shouldn't even be raised? So let's see, we haven't been in our uh, civics tree for a while. Let's see, adds a new grievance against empires with different state religion, that's pretty neat. Influence and in territories, if territories follow state religion. Oh yeah, I want this, we want more influence. If territories fall, yeah, we, we definitely want more influence. Other faiths should be free to worship as they see it all sounds fit. Well and good, until they start worshiping delivery services and bank accounts. <laughs> it's about Amazon and Amazon. <laughs> uh, yeah, we definitely want the influence. Let's check this out. So we get 
from territories, from districts. Sadly, it doesn't tell us from from our tenants. It would be nice if it were a little bit clearer and where this comes from, but you can click through these and select more than one, but it's kind of weird. Like it doesn't go one, two, but instead it makes the thing you selected first into the second, which is kind of weird. Like, I don't understand it weird, but it doesn't really matter since we're just going to go through these like this. We're going to pick them. Which comes first matters not. So we can't willy-nilly attach again because we need to consider the growth and the stability. It needs to be food and this one here already suffers a little bit in terms of food. But it's okay. We might lose a population soon in 36 terms. So uh, I think we'll take this boy here. Um, put it right here. After that, we put this boy right here. This doesn't help us because who would we steal the population from? From ourselves? That's crazy talk. We could attach something here. And I think we'll attach these boys. Taking a big hit to stability. But opening new avenues of amazing... I think we should build Stonehenge now. So let's see, where do we put it? Somewhere kind of useless. We have somewhere useless in our vast empire. Ah, come on. There must be somewhere really useless. There we go. There we go. There is where Stonehenge will be, in the most useless of places. Okay, so if we click on this, we can add other cities' production to it significantly lowering how long this takes we're not going to use all cities because this city is better working on its own stuff so let's see a steed for a colossus on the threshold of a new era in honor of our most famed rule the citizens of the fabled horse city who are a king have brought you a gift to our court a stallion towering 18 hands tall legend says the horse is untamable but all uh, to all but the world's most renowned figure. The steed strains barely under control of its two handlers, breaking this horse in full view of the whole court. Would be quite the statement, but does it come with the risk of humiliation? All right, so we could sacrifice him. <laughs> um, but we will ride. Ride or fall, my, blood accept my bold acceptance of the gift will spark celebrations. So either way, everyone is just kind of, yay, he's getting on that horse. That's so cool. Hey, did you see that's our horse? We brought in that horse. Chaos Media. That sounds like a German company. <laughs> like a terrible, terrible media company. Uh, so let's see. Uh, definitely gonna exploit these because this is crazy what this brings. Uh, not the dry grass, no. The... Give me the resource, come on. Plus 20 industry on all cities and 16 stability. That's just... Come on now. If we have uh, 8... No, we, we must exploit at least 4 out of 8 deposits for this type and research the patronage technology to upgrade the resource effects it's even better than my god and we have so much of it a steed for a colossus 2 before mounting the horse who stand close speak soothingly in its ear before turning it toward the sun so it can't see its own shadow a stallion settles and you launch yourself up its vast flank Sitting astride, towering over the subjects of your court, you can see the awe in their eyes. We are legend. People will flock to the capital to see you ride, bringing wealth and leaving in awe. So we get some money from tourism. 
as it has always been. <laughs> Very good. So our cities are growing, expanding. We're building Stonehenge over there. We probably missed out on a whole bunch of uh, other little wonders that we could build for our current era. But that's okay. I, I am willing to deal with that. The Hittites have reached the classical area with the Huns. So they were Hittites and then they became the Huns. Trades expeditions have been researched. Very good. One of the science stars was earned. There's still a lot to earn. Can't really go for expansionists because there's nothing to expand to on our island and we can't get off our island really. We could build a ship, but that ship's not gonna go off the island really. Can we see where the food comes from? Oh yes, we can. Okay. Once that thing is done, we... What is this? Wasn't that done? I thought the power was done. Oh well, what do I know? Okay, Helping here with that wouldn't really help us much anymore. So let's check if we have anything to help us with uh, stability. And we do, so we're going to build that first. And then maybe Maybe flood irrigation. Do we even have a river? No, we don't. So it doesn't really help us. But we could go for other things. <laughs> uh, doesn't really matter. We'll see when it pops up again. First, we want to finish Stonehenge. Ah, yes. An unrelenting deluge of rainfall lashes down upon this great city of Harappa and the surrounding lands. If the rains don't stop soon, the banks of the great river that threads through the city will burst, flooding the adjacent quarters. With limited time and resources, the choices are stuck. What do we do? And we are just going to protect because we are not crazy. Our people deserve to live. Survive floods. Very preventable, this stuff. Okay. So we have finished Stonehenge, meaning we are now ready to this claim a new thing. Called Stonehenge. Most impressive, though the nagging questions remain of why and how. Yes, no one really knows why this was built or how it was built. Uh, but I think it's cool nonetheless. So let's go ahead and see what wonders are unclaimed. Oh, actually, we still have a bunch of options, including the Temple of Artemis. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what am I thinking? Light of, Lighthouse of Alexandria would be good. We are a uh, sea-bound nation by virtue of living on a continent by our own. So having something that helps us with ship stuff sounds pretty damn good. So we're going to claim this. Not going to read it entirely. Gives us bonuses on ship stuff. Which is all we need to know, really. That's all you need to know. Uh, right. So the harbor wasn't built at that point. Yet we already produced 49 food. God, it's going to be amazing once it's done. Hydrology was researched. So this is constantly going on. Here we go. Now. <laughs> Where's embarkment? That's crazy. I can't find it. I could get out the map from the box and find embarkment, but it'll be fine. I definitely want more city cap. But let's uh, finish the research as it is and see what happens. Oh, our people just run around looking over the island 
5 million times. Where are these guys from? Where the heck did you come from? I could give them an outpost, strengthening our ties. I think not. I would like to know where you came from, though. The great dike was constructed in rapid time at our behest. With a provident choice, it turned about to be two. The deluge didn't relent, but despite the endless rain, Tadapa and its people and property remained safe, only suffering some wet and shivering skin. Better yet, the farmland became even more fertile and the, in the rain's aftermath. So even more food to Harappa, which increases even more the speed of growth. And we need more space again. So uh, we need to attach something new. What do we attach? We attach this. Or that. I'm thinking... this another star unlocked they can have oh well that didn't help <laughs> that they already had so many people there um okay but there's a whole lot to build and and take so let's kind of work on that a little bit can we take with that this here iron let's make sure we get everything we can we don't lose out on cool bonuses and stuff cool bonuses and stuff At some point, we're going to have to build some industry. Uh, and I think around this mountain here would be good. Definitely build some research stuff here because it's kind of hard to find anyway. But we need to get this way first. So going to build some food in this direction. Or does this do both? I already built it anyway. So we're gonna build like that. Slowly outward. And with that, I think we'll leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching. It is a supremely peaceful game. Not that meeting civilizations uh, would immediately lead to war or conflict, but we definitely don't need to worry about our resources that we see being taken by someone else. So that's pretty neat. I really like that. Uh, that makes things a little bit more soothing. <laughs> right. And I will end it here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Until then, bye-bye.